Hi there, welcome back and today we let's learn a very basic and quick setup of Kafka with Spring Boot. I have already covered what is Kafka in my previous video. You can find the link here or in the description if you haven't watched it. Now let's quickly see how we can set up the Kafka in a Spring Boot app. First we can initialize our Spring Boot app with help of start.spring.io. Here we need to add basic Spring web dependency and Spring for Apache Kafka in Maven. Then we have to download Kafka binaries from the downloads.apache.org slash Kafka. You can directly go and download from website or you can use a command from terminal. Then on successful download, extract the zip or compressed file and jump into the folder using terminal. Next, we have to set up the Kafka cluster using craft. This is the replacement of traditional metadata manager Zookeeper in latest versions of Kafka. Then we finally start the Kafka in craft mode and now Kafka server is ready. Next, moving to the application, we'll write the very simple logic to produce and consume a plain JSON for Kafka. So in palm.xml, you can see the core dependencies we have added using Spring Initializer. Then next, moving to the application YAML or props file, we have to set up Kafka props along with Spring props. Local Kafka default port is 9092 and we have configured here so our Spring application can reach it. Next, we have to add key value to serializer and serializer properties for our Kafka consumer producer respectively. These properties are used to convert Java objects into byte arrays and vice versa and are essential for transmitting structured data between Kafka producers and consumers. So finally for our very basic app, I have written user model class, a controller which acts as Kafka producer and a Kafka consumer class to receive and consume the JSON messages. So the producer class will make a user object using received params and will deliver it to Kafka using Kafka template with topic name as user hyphen topic. In the Kafka listener class, the important thing is we have to provide the same topic name provided to Kafka template and also the topic group mentioned in our Kafka application props. That's it. Now we are ready with the basic flow and we can start on our Spring Boot app. This is the sample output you can see in the application console for different inputs through our producer controller which are successfully consumed by Kafka consumer. So this is the quick setup in a glance for Kafka with Spring Boot. I will make a separate video on fully microservice based Kafka setup for a deep understanding of Kafka's important and robust features. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.